You're overreacting, don't you think? I'm just exhausted. That's all. You've been pushing yourself too hard. Work looks pretty intense right now. I've got to do my part to keep the colony on. Is it really that bad? We used to get support based on how well the Levin Squadrons performed in battle. The castle provided for us. So now we have to work like a mother to make up the shortfall. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, so Colony 30 doesn't fight. They get supplies or like I assume rank up based on how well they're like the levels they made performing fights. Okay, that's interesting. I thought Lambda was like Alexandria, but no, it's, uh, it's Ezard. I'm a mechanic. Sure? Okay. This is this shouldn't be that long, right? This doesn't seem like it should be that long. Okay, so all we have to do is teleport to Ezard and talk to him. Cool. Easy peasy. Alright, there we go. Looks like you went to when starting a a hero's ascension quest you don't have to swap a character like the inheritors to that class all you have to do is raise their class to uh rank 10 and then you're good which is perfect looks like colony relations have changed hey Zara, what's up we got a bunch of loveness for you you don't see him but it's outside live behind the waterfall what are you talking about dude no in fact the survey branch has already identified the cause it's the ansels living at the top of the great falls ansels but their natural habitat should be the Urian mountains indeed and their presence here has been affecting the flora we're particularly concerned about their laying waste to the cure grass we use to treat our troops that's an issue right so you want to take those overgrown feather brains out of the picture? Is that it? Which is why you need powerful evidences. You're looking a bit worse for wear there, is he? Been running yourself ragged too? Too? 
my lieutenant's also been burning himself out. We'll help you out too. I appreciate the offer, but I think... You underestimate this job, and you're going to collapse from overexertion too. Better to share them, no? It'll make life easier. Valdi's really worried about him. Could be a nice little excursion. No one's gonna complain. All right then. If it's no trouble, we'll have this issue sorted in no time flat with you on board. Easy peasy. Just let us out. I look forward to this, Commander Valdi. All right, so just have to beat a bunch of monsters and um, call it. Probably have like something else that I gotta do, but uh, honestly, I think we'll be fine. Like it's right here. I think the fastest way is to travel here. Can I, uh, can I call my giant? Uh, what do you call him? Can I call my giant... There's a unique monster behind the Lemnus, are you sure? You know what, I don't care. Honestly, if I want to hunt the unique monsters, I'll hunt them. Right now, I just want to finish the, uh, the Ascension Quest for Valdi. I'm probably thinking about the finish trying to do the Ascension Quest for, like, for Ezard. Yeah, they're right there. Oh! Level 42! Okay, yeah, that, that's easy. You know what? Everybody, everybody, uh, everybody hit me. Alright, let's go. Uh, if you could stop, all stop targeting me, that'd be great. Thank you. Dude, like, they're, we're melting their health. What the heck? How many CP? A uh, two. All right. Well, no point in actually go doing a chain attack or anything. Just finish them. Dude, that was so easy. What the heck? Why forty two? Huh. That looks like them all. They won't be tearing up the Kyogross any longer. I hope they're now. Their fighting days are finally over. Baldi, please to look. Such pretty, pretty flowers. Oh, wow. But it's such a tiny patch of them. <sighs> you think those ants have got them or something? No, those flowers are from the Urayan Mountains. And they don't normally grow in this region. Well... How then? Maybe it's just as Uni said. Maybe the Ansels carried the seeds and they ended up here. That's not. They probably had the seeds stuck in their feathers. And they just happened to land here. Still, of all the places they could have bloomed. It's just random chance, Uni. Not like they grew here on purpose. Only questions whether they make it. They chose to bloom up here. They never gave up. They're just like me. Are they? I mean, like, what? Are they just like you? It lives and breathes, just like me. Happy Revelation? Yeah, it's awesome. Is that it? I never thought we'd be able to find a serious... Uh, okay. Well, that was weird. Okay. Like, for a minute there, I thought that was it. That was gonna be the end of the Ascension Quest. I was like, the five minute Ascension Quest? That's, that's the first one. I see it went well. We've already received your report. Auto forward. Oh, there we go. 
survey branch will be monitoring the situation carefully. Then how about we leave the Levnesses here? Could you give us an update if you happen to find out anything new? You feeling okay there, Valdi? You sound like you're interested in something that's not a Levness. Oh, come on. They're adapting to their environment by themselves. It's such an amazing phenomenon. How could I possibly pass it up? Ah, now indeed. The most feared mechanic in Kevis. So wide-eyed and innocent. Huh? Up until we met in person, I pictured you as a cold, ruthless commander who would stop at nothing to achieve victory. That's the Colony 30 Consul's fault. Yeah. Valdi himself's got nothing but levness on the brain. Hey, that's me. That's true, though, right? Well, perhaps you're right. <laughs> yeah. I've been blindly sending Levnesses to their destruction. But you're only looking at one aspect of the whole. Aren't you furthering the large-scale project for a new model? I hear it's a type of Levness designed for a wholly different purpose. Huh? How'd you hear about that? The survey branches, I is everywhere. Oh, look at me in the fancy spy network I used to work for. <laughs> You're talking about Doric. He's my friend. When he's finished, you've got to come visit. I believe I will. I look forward to building a lasting friendship with Colony 30. I'd be happy to accept your assistance in the future. Great, I can't wait. Good news all round, huh? Talk to you, Zet. All right. This seems like it's gonna be it's gonna go really fast. Now I'm friends with Iz You are definitely friends with Zizzar now. Michael, what's up? Agnes Castle is liberated. Huh? Does that mean we won't be fighting with Agnian armies as much, as much anymore? Like, from what I understand, you don't fight at all. That's an improvement, right? I mean, less war, is that a good thing now? Well, which our war, our world's pilot will pretty much vanish. And there isn't really much, um, much else that I, that I can do. Huh. Hey, don't say stuff like that. That's, that's loser talk. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm just asleep. For some time. It wasn't just a quick there and back. Yeah, one thing led to another. Sorry to butt in. You said they're not bothering a real tizzy. What's not moaning about the lack of left night? Oh, they finally got him used it up. Is it important? It's an all use for leftness maintenance. Tune them up with it, and they're gliding like they're on ice. We're already negotiating with Colony 4 to get us some of theirs. I, uh... Don't suppose you could try to smooth things over with the crew, just for the time being? Oof. Well, I'll see what I can do. Listen, Colony 4 is, um, Ethos. You know that transmission we received earlier? Well, there's a problem. How much is this guy juggling? There's not much point in him trying to recuperate here when he keeps getting pestered like this. What? What do you mean? You can't erase the ship? No, oh, I wasn't privy to the details. All I know is that some guy called Solon from Colony 4 told us to tell you. Oh, Solon. Hey, no. I know what you're thinking. Let's take this to Colony 4. Let's. Oh, I will. there's more. Okay, so okay, I thought I thought that'd be like we just report back and then we're done. Okay, uh, so there's more. Cool, I guess.
Okay, yeah. This this feels like a Ascension quest now. It's uh, really, it's long and really story driven. Yeah, which is fine. What's up, Solon? Hmm. These are not good tidings, especially when we're so swamped. Excuse me, are you so long? So long. Hmm? That's his name. Oh, yes. How may I help you? I'm here about the Levnite shipment to Colony Thirty. I was told that you can send it, and I was hoping to find out why. Did you run into an issue? Well, we sent some of our compeers to Dana Desert, but we haven't heard from them since. I can't exactly leave my post, so I was deliberating as to how we should proceed. You said the desert, right? Anywhere in particular? The richest Levnite veins can be found by a landmark known as Glamrock, so you might try there. That seems like enough to go on, right? We'll head out there to look for them. You... you do this. We can't just ignore someone in need. And besides, we need to get our hands on that Levnite. Well then, thank you very much. I hope to hear good news from you. Alright. Oh, what the heck is this? The Tactical Squad manages to hunt down uh, a whopper of an ar armor. Sweet, it's been who, uh, who knows how long since I uh, freshly hunted natural meat. Colony me feet. Yeah. Yeah, Yammer, what's up? No need for you to worry about the lemness. The repair is going swimmingly. I blush a little saying it uh, the brazenly, but if you took my part of the own uh, remarkable exam, you will go to technology genius. Yeah, I'm at the level uh, of um, the passion authority is hyper genius in itself. Uh, whatever. Let me talk, let me do that like, I doubt that's a side quest, so like, I don't care. Let's just uh, discuss the topic and then we can move on. Oh, it is a side quest. What the heck? All right. The moon in Color Four seems to be a lot livelier than before. Somehow, I agree. It's likely because they can access food and resources they need now. I'm so glad they seem to have uh, weathered the storm. Speaking of food, Color Four took down the whopper of our arm, right? Oh, I, I bet them got a lot of meat uh, on that thing. It's a hard. Uh, like, uh, I heard they got some amazing guts from it. Cuts from it, first rate uh, flates that uh, they've been stuffing themselves uh, with them all day. First rate flates makes me draw so much. Um, I'm about to get uh, dehydrated. Okay, what do I get to eat some, huh? Right, I think they let us have a little nibble. I don't know, they might think it's a bit of a percentage for us if we came ask, come asking. Okay, well, uh, but look here, surely we'll help them enough to earn at least a few bites, right? Oh great, all this hunk of meat and now it's the only thing I want to eat. Same these, me too. Good grief, you people. Are we gonna ask Beyond Mercy and Revenge? What? Okay, Beyond Mercy and Revenge, that's a quest name? Sure. Alright, right, might as well do this quest. Oh hey, you lot, you came just at the right time. We got our hands on some high quality meat currently. Care to try some? Oh, you mean from that huge arm you hunted? Yeah? Huh? How did you know about that? Is that why you came here in the first place? Well, yeah, we just heard you had some first rate fillets and then we couldn't stop thinking about them, so. <laughs> so that's why you uh, uh, scoped yourself in all this way. Didn't expect you'd have such a base, uh, uh, base motivation, I gotta say. Our apologies, we're offended, we'll just go. Nah, it's fine. We are decided. We'll trade you the uh, thing for your help. So yeah, grab some seed, and I'll bring you right right off for you. Got plenty of first rate fleet. We want uh, you want so much. You got your name on it. Oh, I'm stuffed. Didn't think I had so, uh, so takes me in all my life. Oh yeah, me too. I'm almost hanging up uh, over how good it was. Definitely earned the first rate part and nothing in my tongue like some kind of huge juicy meaty snowflake. 
Indeed, I won't be forgetting this anytime soon. Ha ha ha, that's great feedback. Glad to see my hard work didn't go to waste. That was super delicious. Thank you so much for everything. Huh? Something wrong? I what well, my body feels numb. Wait, did you drug us? Hey, what's going on? Stay with me. So somebody come quick! I need to med a med team here, stat! Uh was that food poison? Uh, is everyone alright? I don't feel right at all. My body feels wrong worn out. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. What the spark happened? It seems we were transported to the medic team after losing consciousness. Let's ask uh, uh, Alexandra what happened. She might know something. <laughs> like the, the Noah's face was uh, great. Hey Alexandra, what happened to us? Ah, what relief! Looks like you're back on your feet. How did you? How do you feel? My head still feels fuzzy. Any clue what happened back there? Actually, about that, I'll tell you. But people try not to freak out. Uh, to be truthful, we found traces of poison in the food you ate earlier. Poison? Relax, please. It won't have any lasting effects thanks to uh, how quickly you, re you receive treatment. So does that mean that Laszlo guy put poison in our dinner? He's actually being questioned by Bully Wars and Commander right now. We should go there too. Uh, what he did was awful, no matter how you slice it. Yeah, there's no gray area to this. Uh, we can't let this slide. Um... I don't think it was him. I think it was the guy that like showed up when we first came to uh, Colony 4 and was like he hoped Mew would die. Now that Mew's not gonna die, which I think I assume this quest only triggers when you reach chapter 6. That he was like, yeah, let me kill Mew myself now. At least I think that's what this is. Those calling for mothers should like to crack uh, the whip, work us like this uh, to the snuff of bones. Oh, ho, ho, okay, you guys. I'm telling, uh, and you're telling me the soldiers here put up with this crap the whole time. Can't believe no one snapped. Which the squad I sent to fighting is all I ever know. Uh, how to live in a colony like this? I have no idea. Looks like you all you got your obvious stuff butted up here. You had to uh, out summon somewhere. Go to, uh, got to transfer to colony nine. All of the higher higher ups want me gone. I reckon. Wasn't exactly a friendly neighborhood uh, anyhow, but uh, it's not like it will make any difference. Oh, you're going to Colony 9. Okay. 